The Vision Gauge Digital Optical Comparator is typically used to compare a part to its CAD file. But once in a while, we come across an application where we've got a part and we don't have its CAD file, but we'd like to have it. Well, the Vision Gauge Digital Optical Comparator can help us out here as well. Let me show you how. Right now, I'm using the standalone software license that I've installed on my laptop computer. Of course, I could do this on the Vision Gauge Digital Optical Comparator itself. Also, I've just read in an image that I've captured using the Vision Gauge Digital Optical Comparator. I'll go in the Tool submenu and select the Coordinate Toolbox. The Coordinate Toolbox basically shows me where I'm pointing, the coordinate to which I'm pointing. It's also got a zoomed in, zoomed in magnify viewer. So I'm going to start at this corner and I'm going to click. And now the software knows that I want to start collecting points. So it asks me what exactly I want to do. Well, I'll indicate that I want to create a script file. I could also create a text file. Basically, I just have a whole bunch of points in a text file. A script file is very useful because it can be used by a CAD program to automatically draw the part. It asks me which file I want to create, so I'm just going to overwrite this one, and I'm going to keep on capturing points. So you'll notice that in areas where there's lots of curvature and variations in the part, that I'm capturing a higher density of points. I'm just doing that by clicking on the mouse. And in straight sections, I just capture a point at the beginning and another at the end, and that's it. Another thing that's very interesting to note is that I don't have to be directly on the part's edge. I just need to be near it. Because I've turned on the edge detection, then the cursor snaps to the edge for me. So that's really nice because it provide, this provides operator independent results. I do it, you do it, somebody else does it, and we all end up with the same CAD file at the end of the day. All right, and that does it. So I'll just close the window, and then I'll open up my CAD program. In my case, I'm using AutoCAD, but of course there are many, many other CAD programs that exist and that you can use. So I'll just give the script command, type in script, and it asks me which script file I want to run. So I'll say the, to use the one that I've just created. And there you go. My part has just been drawn. So now I've got a CAD file of that part. I hope you'll agree with me that that was very easy. Thank you.